Okay, this bouquet is gonna be mostly <clears throat> greens and blues. Um, well, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna begin with some stream. Just lay that out in a, in a shape that I'm hoping it sort of stays in. And then a little bit of bottle. <clears throat> this is stone washed. Should have opened these up. I'll do a little hint of that here. And some limeade. And let's see what else. <clears throat> I got a little monsoon. Oh, this might go a little pinky, which I'm not too thrilled about. Um, okay, <clears throat> so we're going to see what happens there, and we're going to start outlining these with alcohol. And see what happens, <clears throat> what is created from this. I always try to leave some negative space and I rarely achieve that. I thought it was really, <clears throat> look at this. That is really cool. I really, really like that a lot. I think that was stone wash. Um, I'll do a little of that here. Um, some more stream. Uh, the monsoon really turned out prettier than I thought it would. Um, but I think I'm going to use my spatula here. Okay, that is really pretty. That's gonna take a while to dry though. That's gonna be a little unfortunate. And create some little berry type things here. <clears throat> and let's see. I hit the center of this the edge of this. <clears throat> and then we can fill in with marker too. So I'm actually liking that. I always say that these particular paintings always go through a super ugly stage, but this one's pretty so far. I'm just gonna dab some of this out. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do a little vase. And this vase, I'm going to do limeade. I just I want to kind of narrow, skinny, and some string. And I probably will throw in a very different color later, red or orange, just to add some highlights. <clears throat> I do want it to go up a little more, a little too short. be fun too is let's drop in a little mixative. This is gunmetal. Let's just kind of toss this in and see what happens. <clears throat> oh, 
one's pretty. Okay. I'm really kind of, I think I want to go a little taller with that too. Oh boy. All right. A bit of everything in on this one and that looks really pretty <clears throat> all right so now I'm gonna this got very yellowy so I'm gonna add some yellow to that look how pretty that is it's almost like a cat's eye um, oh that is really really pretty We'll try a little here. <clears throat> yeah, that is really doing the trick, isn't it? And I almost want to do a hydrangea effect on this one. So let's dab in some limeade. I kind of do a little hydrangea type situation there. I'm not gonna to be too fussed about my vase just yet. Especially up at the top because the flowers are going to come down over it, make it a little more natural looking. <clears throat> what is this? This is a Cali Art marker, alcohol ink marker. sort of define the edge a little there and here too maybe and I'm going to just drop in a little more of this gunmetal, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to want to do some bottle. Do a really loose leaf. Okay. And yeah, how pretty that is. Let's do a little yellow. I know this was supposed to be all blues and greens, but the yellow is really mixing in well with it. And, ooh, okay, that's pretty. I'm gonna drop some alcohol right around the edge here. And that's going to make it look like the leaf is sort of turning in on itself. Um, let's see, maybe I'll do, do some, do I want to do that? Well, I'll just expand on the stone wash here. And then that would be a good color. Yeah, that monsoon was pretty.
Mm. Okay. I am happy with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this dry and then we're going to think about um, what else we can do to this because I think I will want to do some more berries. I'm going to encompass both of those. We weren't really adding anything. And maybe I'll have some come up this way too. Good. I am going to definitely, I'm going to put on my little mini Q-tip some, just drop in some alcohol on it and then add it to my hydrangea here as centers. And then we'll decide if we want to actually do like leaf outlines on it or just leave centers, brighten up the centers with some acrylic marker, which is probably what I'm going to lean towards. <clears throat> Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, here I go adding. I think I'm going to erase that one and have it come over a little bit. Okay, so I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so while we were gone, I added a hydrangea here by just simply putting down some stream and limeade, kind of dotting it in, a little bit of alcohol. Same here. Um, this area seemed a little stark, so I added alcohol to this, and we'll just highlight it in some way. Then I took a marker because I thought this was a little too much negative space here. And I just made sort of a funnel shape pattern with my marker and then dropped in some alcohol along here, making this into a, a funnel type flower. And I think that's it. So what I wanna do is add just a touch of color into our vase here. Find that just adding something a little unexpected will draw your eye in. And it just creates a little more interest. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is I have these acrylic paint pens and I am going to just start outlining um, flowers that I see in leaves. So let's start with the funnel and just kind of follow the lines. I mean, even create your own when you need to. Showing up there too well, but I 
Okay. And then with the hydrangeas, um, I'm gonna just whiten these areas up. On that one, I think what I'm gonna do is create just really loose petals here on this one. And then you can put centers on some that are facing you. There's gonna be other petals that are peeking out, so you're not gonna see the whole hydrangea. I keep these super, super loose. And I may come back in with a colored marker and um, highlight the centers of this particular one. This is one of those things this painting is not a precise study. So just have fun with it. You can see I'm totally not overthinking this thing. Just dropping in petals where I see a petal is needed. Okay, um, so let's do, let's make this into a sort of a rose. Start with a sort of a G and then add larger shapes as you go further away from the center. Okay, um, so let's do this leaf down here. I'm gonna do the outside. I can really see it with this pen. But this here looks like, this section looks like it's kind of folded over. Uh, let's see. Um, here. 
and then we have the center. Okay, now here, this dries really fast too, by the way. Make really loose little berry shapes. And then I'm gonna just create a little mark, almost like the sun is shining down on it, like a highlight. Um, and these were berries until I covered them up, so I'm gonna just put little dots on them. And then here, I think, um, let's see, I think what I wanna do here is, Just really loose little petals. I am not imitating any kind of known flower here, just adding some kind of unusual little shape. Let's see, I think I'm gonna work on this one. Make this the center. Just to add some dots here. Um, and let's see. This over here, I think I'm just gonna do filler type thing and I'm going to go ahead and do more petals on this I think I'm going to 
could do this. Yeah, let's do this one too. Keep all of this as loose as possible. going for a pop art type look for all of these and even though you're not filling in details your eye will fill in all those details for you something with this to a twet. Um, Okay, so I think I'm gonna just add a little touch of color to the center of the hydrangeas. Let's see what this orange does. Yep, I like that. So just dot it where you see a center. Wipe it off occasionally because it will pick up the colors that it's touching. Maybe add a center too. Okay, and um, take a look at what you do. Give yourself a day or so just to take a look at it. See if you want to add to it. Like I might want to add something up here, maybe later, maybe some branches coming out. I might even want to take some India ink and um, kind of splash some little dots across here, which I think that would be really interesting. Actually, let's do that. Let's do... Okay, so I've got Aqua, and it's Dr. P.H. Martin's India ink. It will not reactivate the alcohol ink. It's archival. Um, 
just be careful when you use it. You don't want to spill it because it won't come up. here okay all right I think that's it let me center this a little bit more so you can see it hope you enjoyed it hope you try it thanks for watching